in this video I'm gonna show you a coverage adjustment and a coverage concept that I honestly think is gonna take over the Madden community now if you're new to the channel I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's completely free to subscribe to the channel it just keeps you up to date I post videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player so if you're looking to get better at the game go ahead and hit that subscribe button like I said it's completely free to do that and in today's video, I'm really excited to share with you this new coverage defense. Uh, it's not even necessarily a coverage defense. It's more of a coverage concept uh, that I've been utilizing. You could do this um, out of almost any nickel formation in the game. I've been talking about this since I think the first week the game has been out. Uh, but I do think it has actually kind of reached a, a critical point right now where it's actually really, really good when you combine it with man-to-man, -man, uh, which we're going to show you how to do that in this video. Um, now, what I'm going to do on offense is I'm just going to grab kind of some plays here out of the, the Raiders book. I think the Raiders book is one of the more popular books right now because you can go through an audible around the different formations. Now, I'm going to show it out of the nickel triple, but you can actually do this out of several different formations. If you take a look at the packages menu here, I'm going to scroll over uh, to the free safety nickel package. Now you can find this triple formation in the Baltimore playbook, the Chicago playbook, as well as a couple of other ones. I actually have a full ebook on it in my Patreon. If you want to get all my ebooks, join the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month. You're going to get access to every ebook I've got. We've got 14 in there right now. I've got more on the way as well. So if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description that you can click to go sign up for that. But the play is nickel triple free safety nickel package. Now what you want to do once you go to the package I like to go ahead and um, manually sub all my guys in because sometimes it does mess this up. So I'm just going to see here, I'm just going to sub my players in. And then what you want to do here is you want to make sure your best man coverage corners are, you know, on the outside. So like Eric Stokes, for example, uh, Jair Alexander. I like to have Kevin King in there. And then what we'll do here is we're actually going to um, go ahead and put our best safeties in down in the box here at the linebacker position. So you see, now we've got kind of our, our formation set up, but really the key package is free safety nickel because you're gonna get some cool adjustments out of this. And we're gonna come out in the play cover two man. Now, I don't think a lot of people are running cover two man this year, but I wanna kind of make a little bit of a case for it in this video and explain why this is so good um, against the meta. And not even necessarily the meta, honestly against anything, okay? Now, if you play man coverage in Madden 22, chances are you're going to get this route thrown on you a lot. You're going to get this little running back out route. They're going to have backfield master, and he's going to get open. And then the, But the problem is, and this is the thing, the problem is if you say, well, okay, then I'll just play zone. Well, then you know what they're going to do? They're going to go to mesh spot, and they're going to throw this route on you pretty much all game. So how do you play defense? Well, I guess we just don't play defense anymore. We just give up and we move on to Madden 23, right? Well, no. How do we how do we actually stop this? How do we actually lock this up? Again, Madden's not doing us any favors this year on the defensive side of the ball. That's been well documented, okay? Here's how I like to defend this. So out of this cover two man, what we can do is um, a couple things. I, I love the show blitz look just to kind of walk this guy down. And then I'm going to move him and I'm going to press. So now you see we still get our press alignment, right? Now, the other thing is, if you take a look at his adjustments, I can put him in an outside third uh, to the left. I could put him in a middle third. I could put him in a mid read. I could put him in an outside third to the right. I could do a lot of stuff with him. I'm going to actually put him in an outside third to the left. This guy, I'm going to walk him down as well, and I'm going to put him in an outside third to the right. So you see, this is kind of what the play looks like or what the defense looks like. Now, from a user perspective, what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and user uh, Savage right here. We're actually not going to put anybody on the running back. What we're going to simply do here is I'm going to take this linebacker that's manned up on the running back, and I'm going to man him up on the tight end. We're going to QB spy our nose tackle. And then what we're going to do here with our DT is really whatever you want. You can put him in a bluff blitz. You could man him up on somebody. Whatever you want to do. And it's up to you what you do with your running back. You could actually go ahead and legitimately, if you wanted to, you could, you know, you, you could man that safety up on him. There's a lot of things that we could do to defend the running back. I'm not going to focus too much on that. That's really what that three rec hook zone defender is going to be designed to do uh, in, in this play. And then we also have a spy. Okay. So what you're going to see, uh, what you're going to see though within this is I'm going to show you this play here. 
uh, Z Spot and Go. If they run this play on you, Z Spot and Go, I want you to notice, uh, and I'm just gonna just for sake, I guess we're snap. Watch this corner route. See how the outside third kind of plays it and kind of helps shadow it and makes it so that it's really not open. That's really the secret sauce of this play. And like I said, you could do this in a little bit of a different way than I'm showing it, and it does work from other formations. Formations like 3-3-5 wide, 3-3-5 normal, big nickel over G, some of the best formations in the game. So obviously the running back's open, but I just want you to watch the other routes on the play. Notice those outside thirds are really playing them pretty well. Okay? So now I want to go to another route combo, one of the most popular ones in the game, and that's the verticals play with the running back in route. Okay, so we're gonna do basically the same thing. We're going to show blitz. We're going to outside third. We're gonna bring this guy down, put him in an outside third. You know, you might do it like that. You might also do it like this. He's still gonna to go to the outside third, right? So you could leave him here if you wanted to, or you could bring him here, and then you could click onto this guy and just simply move him over. So you see this is what the defense looks like. We're then going to man up that tight end with the backside guy. And then what I like to do here is, you know, a three wreck and a QB spy. Now notice if you three wreck the nose tackle, um, I'm pretty sure he does a little better job at guarding the running back. But again, I just want you to watch. Uh, I just want you to watch this verticals play. So verticals, don't worry so much about the running back. I just want you to watch the tight end and watch the crosser. Notice the tight end gets covered pretty well, instant sheds. And then also you've got this outside third on the left that's making that verticals crossing route, which is so good, a little bit difficult to throw and doesn't quite look as open as it probably should be. So again, here you get a nice jam. And then you see here, my guy in the outside third is hanging right in that little area. So you can't quite, you can't confidently throw this ball, okay? Now, how do we trap the running back? Well, the way that we trap the running back is through basically adjusting out of this. So we're gonna go outside third, we're gonna go outside third, but now we're gonna do a little bit of a twist. This running, or this uh, linebacker here, Adrian Amos, notice that we can uh, drop him into a hard flat. So you see here, we're gonna drop him into a hard flat. And what we're actually gonna do on the back side of this is we're gonna create a cover two. So you see, it looks like this. All I did was I just hot routed guys uh, to cover two zones. Obviously, you need to move that guy down so he stays down. You don't have to leave him down. I just like to. But anyways, you see here, this is what we've got. Now we're pressed up. And what we also have here is we've got the running back now kind of bracketed, right? We've got flats on the field, as you can see. And then we've also got three rec. We've got the hard flat to the left, but the backside guy is man locked. And then our job primarily on this is to use at the middle of the field. If we see like a a seam streak or you know something like that so let's say they go to a play like flood and they try to run their running back out route well now we've got them trapped right because on the right oh that's not there that's not there now of course we would need to use that that high high ball uh to the to the seat so my point is this you can use these outside thirds and you can they are actually really a glitchy uh zones so you can try them out when you put them from the safeties, I find that they play the best. And then what you could do is at the right time, you could actually drop into hard flats here. And what you'll notice is let's say they run a play like verticals. That wheel route to circle, that is really good. And that streak to square, which is really good. If you play this coverage at the right time, you notice that that third will pick that off. And I've talked about that several times here on the channel. So try out this adjustment. I do have to tell you one of my other favorite things about this and how this works when we're talking about man-to-man -man coverage is in man coverage, from what I have seen, these thirds, they don't bump into people, but they play the sideline. They take away the deep bomb over the top. Your primary job is to take away the deep bomb in the middle of the field. And then if you want to, within like a formation like nickel triple, where you could flip the formation depending on the situation you know you might do something like that and then now you could drop the three wreck to the running back side and i just want to show one last piece of this but against a play like mesh spot as long as you have the three wreck on the running back side what you'll see is he will actually run right at the running back and at least muddy the waters notice that mid that outside third played it perfectly and as you can see this little defense right here could actually start getting you some stops it's one of my favorite little defenses I like it out of man. 
You can do the same concept out of zone. I personally would recommend that you try this out of man coverage first. I think you're going to have a, a, a lot of success. I really do. And, you know, if you did something, I mean, again, you could even drop, you know, Zadarius Smith in, into a zone, and then you could just rush, you know, these two guys on the right and kind of, kind of, you know, force them to roll to the to the weak side of the, of the formation. You know, the possibilities are endless, but the reality with this is this is going to help you get more stops on defense. Try out these little outside third techniques. Learn how to use the middle of the field and uh, you're going to find yourself getting more stops. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this concept, I did a deep dive on it in our Patreon membership. I've got a ton of ebooks over there as well. Remember, you can get the e the uh, membership for just $10 a month, and by signing up for the membership, you get access to everything. All my exclusive tips, my updates, my ebooks, everything for just $10. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to check out the Patreon, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you. Thanks for watching, guys.